Game of Thrones Season 4, Episode Number 2. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to next week's episode of Game of Thrones. And the emotions and effects of the Red Wedding have, I'd say, fully left me. At this point, it's been two weeks since we watched it. Three weeks, as of now, actually. And I think I've kind of come to terms with it. I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay with this situation now, you know? I'm not happy about it. But it's kind of an it is and it is what it is type thing right now. How you feeling? You feeling good? You still upset? You, you know? So I'm still upset. Well, but... 50 50. But the show's good, man. Season four kicked off to a great start. Obviously, Daenerys and them, her dragons getting big as fuck. You know, but running into a little food problem there. I mean, I guess we were never really thought about that when they were young and she first had them, the food issue. Obviously, when they're young, you can kind of just feed them like she was doing little chunks of meat. But as they get bigger, the motherfuckers gonna get hungry. And when dragons get hungry, when any animal or even humans get hungry, things can turn pretty vicious, man. So I'm kind of curious as to what they're gonna do for their food source with the dragons. I know that's like kind of maybe not a big thing or a big storyline going on. Maybe that's not something that'll ever be answered, but I don't know. That's the kind of stuff I think about sometimes in shows. And then obviously, Jamie back at King's Landing, you know, Cersei. The shit she told him last week pissed me off, man. She really blamed him for being gone for so long when the motherfucker was captured. Fight for his fucking life, man. I don't want to get into it because I'm going to get heated again, man. But show is super good right now. All the stuff going on with Arya and the Hound. It's probably my favorite part of the show right now. Me I would, too. Yeah, yeah, I would say that's my favorite part, too. I'm loving it, man. And she got Needle back last week, obviously. She got her own horse. The Hound got his chicken. Things are looking up for them, too. It's kind of weird because she always hated the hound and i don't know i'm like do you think she's gonna like grow an attachment to him kind of because he's kind of protect like i know he's doing it for money he said he was gonna take her uh to her aunt liza at the veil and stuff like that you know so obviously he's doing it for money but i mean at the end of the day he's still protecting her and they're spending time to you think she's gonna grow an attachment to him maybe not want to kill him or you think she's still always gonna want to kill him I don't think so. You don't think she's going to want to? Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Arya can definitely hold a grudge. We've kind of seen that. She remembers people that have done fucked up shit, and she makes sure to keep that shit in the front of her head. But it would be pretty sad if she did, man. Like, the Hound has grown on me as a character, too. I kind of fucked with him a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and now it's more and more. Like, do you like the Hound as a character, I kind do. of? Like, he's, he, he does some fucked up shit, but it's like, right now, he's kind of in a position where he's on our side, so it's like, yeah, okay, you know, but regardless, guys, we're gonna stop wasting time, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop into this episode, before we do, we do ask, if you guys are new to the channel, do hit that subscribe button, comment down below if you guys wanna see the next video, drop a like on the video for us, for reaction to be up on Patreon, as well as early access to the next two episodes, if you guys wanna check that out, link in the description down below, but we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop into this episode. Starting off with the Game of Thrones intro right off the rip. I feel like... When was the last time it was just intro right off rip? I feel like we've always had like either the previously ons or we've had a little clip from the show at the start. This is the first time we've had just the intro in a minute. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> New season. Who knows? You think Egrid's gonna find uh, John again, his girl? You think they're gonna reunite eventually? Oh, everything going on behind, beyond the wall, I should say, too. It's crazy, man. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a show that's, like, built something up like this for so many seasons. Like, you remember back, what was it, episode one? When that group of people, like, went out and seen a, seen a White Walker, you remember? And seen the Whites. Like, they literally set this shit up all the way back in season one episode one and it's still just been growing like we're not even here to the full picture yeah i don't think i've ever seen a show like do this man it's cool it's badass i like it tons of different storylines if you make it out of the woods you win Run, dude this is so fucked up ramsey he's like he might be the most fucked up person we've seen in this show. Like, he's not my most hated character, but he's definitely, like, probably the most fucked up character. Highly wounded, huh? You brought her down. That's what matters. Fine shot. Wasn't it, Reek? Fine shot, master. Lady. Still calling him Reek. Dogs tore to fucking shreds. 
Ramsey just gets more and more fucked up as a character, huh? Why is no one eating? My wife wastes away and my brother starves himself. I'm not hungry. You lost a hand, not a stomach. We haven't really seen much interaction between Jamie and Tyrion throughout the show, huh? We've seen a little yeah. in season one, but not a ton. When was the last time father used a sword? I'm not father. I'm the Kingslayer. When people find out I can't slay a pigeon. Train them. Learn to fight with your other hand. With whom? You? Men talk. As soon as someone discovers I can't fight, he'll tell everyone. You need a proper discreet swordsman. Braun. Right? His bestie, man. <laughs> if you fight with an edge blade, I'll have to. And if I fight with an edge blade, I'll have no one left to pay me. I haven't used a sparring sword since I was nine. We also haven't had to learn since you were nine, probably. <laughs> Braun is not holding back. Well, he's probably holding back a little bit, but... You're not taking it easy on him, that's for sure. I like Braun, man. It's gonna be cool to see how his relationship develops with Jamie. Braun's just such a laid back character, man, you know? It's crazy, like, some of these characters that get introduced in the show, you're like, eh, you know, they're probably gonna be gone by the next episode. Like, Braun, when he fought for Tyrion, I didn't think he was gonna turn into anything, and by God almighty, look at him. <laughs> I hate the hand from the Kingslayer. Word travels. How he screamed. You would have loved it. <laughs> All of them are fucked up as hell. This was Balin Greyjoy's son and heir. We've been flaying our enemies for a thousand years. The flayed man is on our banners. My banners, not yours. You're not a Bolton, you're a Snow. Damn, he is a he is a bastard, that's right. Simon Lannister has given me the North, but he won't lift a finger to help me take it. As long as the Ironborn hold Moat Caelan, our armies are trapped south of the Neck. Theon was a valuable hostage, not your plaything. I had to smuggle myself into my own lands, thanks to the great joys. I needed Theon. I needed him whole. Theon was our enemy. But Rake... Rake will never betray us. He's like, you're more fucked up than I thought. <laughs> Where are Bran and Rickon Stark? I don't know, my lord. You murdered them. Did you murder the Stark boy? No, my lord. Just two farm boys. And crisped them so no one would know. The Starks have always ruled the North. If Bran and Rickon are alive, the country will rally to their side. Now that Rob Stark is gone. Oh. That was the first time hearing it. He's gonna kill him. He's not. Ah, oh, I wish he would just slit his throat, but then he would die. <sighs> He just, he's broken mentally, physically, every way, you know? I'm guilty of being seen with my own wife's handmaiden. My father will ask you if there's anything more, and you'll tell him some clever lie. No, I will not. How long do you imagine your father and sister would let me live if they suspected me of lying? I have no pet cell sword to protect me, no legendary brother to avenge me. Only little birds who whisper in my ear. Forgive me if I don't weep for you. No one weeps for spiders or whores. I have friends across the sea who could help her. Of course, Varys is trying to get her out still, you know? He wanted her gone, so this is just better for him. She's the whore I told you about. The dark head. I was brought to the Tower of the Hound before the wedding. God, man. They're really out for Shay. Ah, oh, some more bad shit's gonna go down. Book? The lives of four kings. Grand Mr. Keith's history of the reigns of... Darren the young dragon, Baelor the blessed, Aegon the unworthy, and Darren the good. A book every king should read. Now that the war is won, we should all find time for wisdom. Thank you, uncle. I will never take anything Joffrey says like that seriously. I will take everything he says like that with a grain of salt and a little bit of lie. Only two Valyrian steel swords in the capital, your grace. Wow. Freshly forged in your honor. He's giving Joffrey one of the Valyrian swords. I thought he was going to keep it for himself. You're going to give it to this dude who's never going to fucking use it. He's just going to fucking sit at his side. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, careful, your grace. Nothing cuts like Valyrian steel. So they say. Every 
every time I use it, it'll be like cutting off Ned Stark's head all over again. Except you didn't cut his head off. You literally have done nothing at all. I don't think you've ever even hurt somebody. <laughs> Physically, anyway. God, dude, I just... I, 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 If Joffrey doesn't die at some point in this series, I'm going to be pretty upset. I'm afraid our friendship can't continue. Our friendship... Damn. There's a ship waiting in the harbor bound for Pentos. What? You'll have your own cabin, of course. And across the narrow sea, a house. You're afraid of your father and your sister. You're going to run from I them need all you your to life. Leave. I'm not afraid of them. I'm not going to run Shame. from them. We'll fight them together. It's like you said. I'm in yours and your mind. You're a whore. Sansa is fit to bear my children, and you are not. I can't be in love with a whore. I can't have children with a whore. He's not even looking at her. Because he doesn't mean it. He's just saying it to get her to leave because he knows she won't leave. He just wants to protect her. You know, he's trying to say anything he can. He's trying to get her to hate him. Because that's the easiest way to get somebody gone, you know? Is if they hate you. It's fucked up. Look at Braun. You'll have a comfortable life in Pentos. I feel I bad. She's gonna do it. Tyrion's just trying to protect her. It's a very fucked up situation. She should, of course, be scared of fucking... <laughs> of Cersei and his dad, man. More sacrifices. Accept you well! Lord of light, show us the way. Lead us from the dark. Felice! Yours is the sun. You're my sister! Yours are the stars that guide us. Wow, his sister. Remember when we first got introduced to them, they were doing this, but they only did it to what, one person? Or was it... I think it was one person. Now they're doing it to three. Their souls. It was their souls. Our Lord took them, did you see? He's like, no, I didn't actually. Leads off. Our Lord is almost empty. So fish them. They're on an island. It's getting to Stannis, all this killing and stuff and sacrifice. It's getting to him. She's a stubborn little beast. She's a child. You barely know her. You think she's sweet because she smiles when you visit. She's sullen and stubborn and sinful. Why else would the Lord of Light have seen fit to mark her face? She needs the rod. She's my daughter. You will not strike her. Stannis cares about his daughter, man. He don't want nobody fucking with her. I think that's going to be where he draws the line. Septon speak of seven gods. There are but two. A god of light and love and joy. And the god of darkness, evil and fear, eternally at war. Then there are no seven heavens, and no seven hells. There's only one hell, princess. The one we live in now. Damn, man. So you're telling me that the Lord of Light and Healing and Happiness birthed that fucking demon child? Yeah, right. This one of the wolves is... Brandon, his head again. Is this how he's doing his hunting now? Damn. Why did you wake me? You've been gone for hours. I was hungry. We're all hungry. I was just eating. Summer was eating. Your body can't live on the food your wolf consumes. You'd forget us, Bran. You'd forget your mother and father. You'd forget your brothers and sisters. You'd forget Winterfell. You'd forget you. He, he doesn't even know that his brother's dead yet, huh? Imagine what's gonna happen when he finds that out. Sheesh. Oh, shit. Ned! Look for me. when he fell out oh my god dragons flying over god damn that was a lot you see the shadow of the dragon flying over you know cersei's this hating kiss, this i pledge my love
This is a big moment in the show, man. The two houses officially together, kind of, you know? We have a new queen. Better her than you. Better her than Cersei too, bitch. <sighs> I mean, I guess this is good, you know? At least Marjorie's not a fucked up person, you know? She's the queen now, so she's got some power and stuff. The Iron Bank will have its due. How they love to remind everyone. Almost as much as you Lannisters with your debts. I'm not worried about the Iron Bank. We both know you're smarter than that. Come, Tywin, let us celebrate young love. <laughs> Tywin and her, man. What a fucking... I don't even know, dude. Tywin's just like so much experience and stuff. I love his character. And then she's just funny as fuck. And she don't give a fuck to say what she thinks, you know? You saw her board the ship. All right, she's on it. And you saw the ship sail away. No one knows she's there but you, me, and Varys. How do you know? Because if someone follows me without an invitation, I'm the last person they ever follow. Bron's a good, good friend. I, I, I feel like she's not gone, though, because he didn't say she, he watched the ship leave. She probably got off that shit. I haven't had the opportunity to tell you how sorry I was to hear about your brother. War is war, but killing a man at a wedding. Horrid. What sort of monster would do such a thing? As if men need more reasons to fear marriage. I forgot Prince Aubrey was here and he's a whole nother problem. He hates the Lannisters too, man. Oh. Very good, very good. Off you go. <laughs> Joffrey has like no redeeming qualities. Like I'm trying to think of one or something, but there's really nothing. King Joffrey has decreed that the leftovers from our feast be given to the poorest in his city. In other words, she set that up. <laughs> Trying to get him brownie points. The leftovers, yay, we're not gonna throw them away. We're not gonna throw them away. We're gonna do the right thing. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Prince Aubrey swings that way. Luckily for you, none of this will happen because you'll never marry her. And neither will you. <laughs> I I believe it. Cersei would do some shit like that. Oh, my man said, and neither will you. It must be exciting to flit from one camp to the next. Serving whichever lord or lady you fancy. I don't serve your brother, your grace. But you love him. I mean, I never really thought she had a thing for Jamie like that. You know, I thought it was more of a, like, a respect thing after he told her the story. Cersei's really acting like that, like jealous as fuck when she she told him she doesn't want him no more. Mm -hmm. Leave this wedding right now. Go to the kitchens and instruct them that all the leftovers from the feast will be brought to the kennels. Your Grace, a queen, Marjorie. The queen said they would is be... telling you the leftovers will feed the dogs. Oh, you will. Damn, she's got a problem. She ain't the queen no more. It's fucked up. Cersei's just mad. She ain't the queen no more. She ain't got Jamie no more. She's got to marry Loris. Things aren't looking too good for her. <laughs> A gold dragon to whoever knocks my fool's hat off. <laughs> Everything she enjoys, he hates. You know? People everywhere have their differences. In some places, the highborn frown upon those of low birth. In other places, the rape and murder of women and children is considered distasteful. Talking about his sister. Surely there are others out there who still dare to challenge my reign? Uncle, how about you? I'm, I'm sure they have a spare costume. <laughs> Imagine Prince Oberyn steps up, fucks Joffrey up. Climb down from the high table with your new Valerian sword and show everyone how a true king wins his throne. Be careful though. This one is clearly mad with lust. Make him make him fight. See what you got, Joffrey. Mm. 
my love, come back to me. It's time for my father's toast. Well, how does he expect me to toast without wine? <sighs> Uncle. Oh, she's looking at him. <laughs> you can be my cupbearer. Seeing as you're too cowardly to fight. I hate Joffrey so much, man. What a little bitch. Bring me my goblet. Dude, I want somebody to step up and fuck him up. Prince Auburn. Somebody. Neil! Somebody fuck him up! God damn! Fuck this bitch! I want to reach through the screen and slap the fuck out of him, man! Fuck this bitch! I oh, why can he not get fucked up? Somebody fuck him up! Uncle! Where are you going? You're my cup pair, remember? You're great. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. He's choking. He's choking. Oh, the poor boy. Is he choking or is he like poisoned? <laughs> he's not choking. He's poisoned. Let's fucking go! If you want to live, you have to leave. It's old boy from last episode, the fool. Who did? Who set this up? Was it the prince? Wow. Let's fucking go! <laughs> They're gonna blame Tyrion. Let's fucking go! Oh my God. Yes! Let's fucking go! Yes! Yes! Let's fucking go! Get this bitch out of here! Let's fucking go! Yes! He poisoned my son. You Don't literally watched him. him. You're stupid as Take fuck. Him. Take him! You li You literally watched him pour the wine from the shit on the table, you fucking idiot. Let's fucking go! Oh my god! Get him out of here, coach! Get him the fuck out of here! Game of Thrones, a fucking historic episode, season four, episode number two! Get him the fuck out of here! Let's fucking go! Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Holy shit. Get this bitch off my goddamn screen. Holy hell. About damn fucking time. God, dude, he's really fucking dead. So, who becomes king then? Is it. Technically, Renly truly is the, like, king now, right? Like, who, who else would they give it to after that? But they're obviously not going to give it to Renly. Or not Renly, Stannis. You know, they're obviously not going to give it to Stannis. So who, who who's going to be king then? I'm trying to think, man. Who's going to be king? Maybe... Maybe Marjorie's just queen? You know? I don't know how the fuck that's going to work, man. Holy shit, Joffrey is fucking dead. It's about damn time. You know, I like I'm happy he's dead, but like I wish it was a different way. I wish he like got fucked up in a fight. I wish he got maybe tortured or something. Like something like that. You know, poison. Eh. Like he's dead. I'm happy about that. But like poison like you couldn't have him like somebody kill like Sansa kill him, tear like And they were just talking about oh <laughs> 
All this stuff they were talking about right before when she was talking about the wedding mm -hmm. and then he died. It's hey. so crazy and funny because he was just laughing at all that stuff. He was laughing and now it's just I know. funny, you know? It's, it's karma, man. He had all those, the, the, the door set up and everything, replay that, fucking slam it in Sansa's face. <laughs> Make it look like he's he's some big man who did something when he literally ha hasn't fought a single time in this show. All we've seen him do is be a little bitch. Now, the question is, who did it? Because it wasn't fucking Cersei. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> where that came from, where you said, did she do it? She Literally, the only thing she has to live for is her kids. There's no way she fucking did it. The grandma, uh, her grandma, maybe. Yeah, so I, I have like three different theories of who maybe did it. it. It was either the Tyrells, like as a whole. I And first of all, I don't think the wine was poisoned. I think it was the pie. I think the pie the was pie? what was poisoned because the way she gave she it, to it to him, to, she uh, fed it to him like, and the way she gave it to him made it seem like for sure. No one yet. else ate the pie. No one else ate the pie, and she didn't take a bite of it. And like when oh. he cut the pie too, it like zoomed in on some kind of. I don't know if it was like oh, the pigeon so dead nobody, or something. Nobody oh, else had eaten nobody. the pie at that point. So that means, I hope it, if that is true, then hopefully they find out so that they don't uh, do anything. To well, here's here's the thing. Yeah. First, I, I'm pretty sure it was the pie. It, it couldn't have been the wine because he poured the wine from the same cup or from the same glass Everybody. that everyone was drinking from. However. So that's my first theory that it was the Tyrells and they set that up. Second theory, I which this is a far-fetched one, obviously. You know, I just want to throw this out there in case it is true. Maybe by some chance Sansa had some poison on her, and when she picked up the cup and gave it back to Tyrion, maybe she put like poison on the lip around the top or so. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know, because they did show that scene. It could have been them just showing us like, hey, Sansa's warming up to Tyrion but it also could have been that. I think that one's a lot more far-fetched. Or the third one, which is pretty far-fetched too, Prince Oberyn, I think that's how you pronounce it. I started out saying Prince Aubrey, Prince Oberyn, however you pronounce the dude's name, because obviously he hates Lannisters. His sister was killed by them, raped, all that stuff. So, you know, killing Joffrey, killing the king is fucking a huge fuck you to them. You know what I mean? The one that I think it is the most is the Tyrells because the way she fed him the pie, the way she looked at him, she didn't take a bite herself and all that. So I, I, I personally think it was the Tyrells that did it and set it up. I could be wrong. I don't know. Those are my three theories. I think it was one of them. What, what do you think? Do you think that? Like, like what, what are your thoughts? Who do you think? I think so too. I you think, think the so Tyrells? Too. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I can't believe he's fucking dead. I can't fucking believe it. I can't fucking believe it. This is what I'm talking about, man. Let's fucking go. Now this makes up for, for episode nine. You know what I mean? Like finally we get a little, like the characters we, finally, man, finally. But the thing that pisses me off though, like you literally seen Tyrion pour the fucking wine out of the same thing you're drinking from and you watched him the entire time. How could he have fucking poisoned him? Joffrey pointed at him for whatever reason, obviously is maybe last, like a last fuck you or something like that. It could, it's literally impossible for it to have been Tyrion. I think it was either one of those three things I said. I think it has to be. You know, I I, I don't know. It has to be one of those three, for sure. You know, obviously we know the Tyrells, you know, Marjorie obviously doesn't really like Jeffrey or in love with him or anything like that. And she wanted, remember back in one of the episodes, um, I don't know if Renly was still alive or if it was back. It was back when she was at Renly's camp. She was like, I don't want to be a queen. I want to be the queen. You know yeah, what I mean? Maybe she, yeah, maybe she just wanted to be the queen. And, you know, she's been doing all this stuff for the people. So they would love her, you know? Yeah. That makes sense. That's what I'm saying. So I think it was them. And I think this was all part of their master plan, kind of, which is five head as fuck. And I'm glad. Like I said, I wish Joffrey maybe died a different way, like hand to hand combat, something like that. Maybe Tyrion, you know, fuck him up. But you know what? Joffrey being dead is okay with me it's i'll take it you know a death is a death and i'll take that shit i'll take that I, I, game of thrones you got to take what you can get man y'all can call me fucked up for being happy that uh, a kid quote unquote died because joffrey's like in his teens in this show i don't give a fuck fuck that bitch i'm glad he's dead finally obviously you know it's not real life it's a tv show but still 
I'm glad he's gone from the fucking show. I hated his character so much. Dude didn't have any redeeming qualities. Dude was such a bitch to every single person he came into contact with. Such a bitch to every single person he came into contact with. I'm so glad he is gone. The only thing is, though, there has to be more shit that's about to go down because the dude, the 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 the, the dude that used to be a knight, the fool, mm -hmm. went up to Sansa and was like, "Let's get out of here. You know, I gotta get you out of here if you want to live." So I don't know how. Maybe because they took Tyrion. Took Tyrion. Tyrion. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It, it, or maybe he just trying to help her get away. From I don't know. It could be that, but then with, didn't he say oh, that to her before? Maybe she's gonna leave with what's her name? Shay. Yeah, maybe they'll leave together. I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe I don't think Shay's gonna leave at all. First of all, I think she's still staying there. I don't know. Maybe man. she's gonna take Sansa with her. I don't know. Maybe I could see that happening. I guess, cause the only thing is like. He came out of nowhere well, last. Now, what, what did it happen? Now Cersei, she's gonna wanna kill her now, cause cause she thinks he killed. Yeah, but the thing is, this all, you know, all all the the the, the big thing here is who's gonna be king slash queen. Like, mm -hmm. does it just fall to Marjorie, or does it actually go to Stannis now? Which I mean, they're not gonna allow that, I'm sure. So does it just actually fall to Marjorie somehow? You know, right? I don't know, man. I don't fucking know, but that requires a lot too. But the thing is, like, they brought that dude back last episode. The the fool. Like he was gone for, for all those episodes and they just mm -hmm. randomly brought him back last episode and he gave her that thing. You know, mm -hmm. so maybe like whoever did this, whether it was the Tyrells or whether it was uh, Prince Oberyn and them, whoever did this, maybe they told him about it and that's why he went to Sansa the other time, maybe gain her trust a little bit so that now when he went to her to save her, she would trust him and go with him, mm -hmm. you know? But I don't know why they would choose him if he's just some random fool, you know what I mean? Maybe it's just a coincidence, maybe we're looking too far into it. I don't know. I don't know, man, but holy shit, this show, episode two, like I said, every any episode of Game of Thrones, man, you always gotta be fucking ready. You always gotta be fucking ready, dude. Holy shit, Joffrey is fucking dead. Oh my god. I he He's like dead, 100%. I swear to god, if we start the next fucking episode and this motherfucker somehow comes back to life, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. He has to be 100% dead, man, but holy hell. This is like fucking massive shit. Like, this drives the story into, like, a completely new direction because we're going to have different leadership here in King's Landing. We're not, like, holy fuck, what the hell is going to happen now with this show? Oh, my God, man. Holy fuck. I, like, what else happened this episode? Did, were, we, were we at King's Landing oh, this whole time? Um, the, what happened with, um... With, um, the boy that... With Brandon, <laughs> them. <laughs> What happened with Brandon and them? Yeah. So crazy, huh? Yeah. I don't I mean, yeah, but I don't care. Joffrey's fucking dead. You know what I mean? Fuck, holy shit, dude. There's just so much and everything that happened with Dion too, dude. Oh my god. And the thing is too, like Dion's sister's still coming to save him. We haven't gone back to that. When was that? The season finale of season three? We didn't go back to that last episode or this episode. She's still coming out there to save him. But she's only coming with like 50 fighters, you know. I know she said they're like the best fighters on the Iron Islands, but shit. Who knows what the fuck's gonna happen and uh lord bolton i guess the whole time didn't want anything to happen to Dion. he was supposed to be a bargaining chip and ramsey so messed up like Dion could have been fine but ramsey just decided to take it upon himself and do that you know what i mean but then you see when his dad comes back he really is just a little bitch you know <sighs> oh my god dude what a fucking episode Shit, I can't believe he's dead. I'm so fucking happy, man. God damn. Oh, I'm excited now. This shit, like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, Game of Thrones is Game of Thrones, and I was happy, you know, watching it and everything like that. But then when Rob died, I was a little bit sad because I, I, you know, I had hopes that maybe he would. I know he didn't want to be the king, and he said that before, but maybe he would have taken, like, a king role or something like that, even if it was just king in the north. And I know Primate, he buried himself down, killed himself with all the mistakes he made. I get it. I still like this fucking character, you know? So when he died, I was a little bit sad and everything. And, but now Joffrey's dead. So that's like PIMDOS, you know? You learned that in school, PIMDOS, that cancels it out, you know? So I'm, I'm pretty happy, man, but goddamn. 
I don't know what's gonna happen in the next episode. I don't know what's gonna happen the rest of this fucking season. I see why a lot of people say this is their favorite season. Shit, this is my favorite season already on episode two. Get that bitch out of here, man. Shit. Oh, I wish Arya could have seen that. At least Sansa was there to see it too a little bit. I mean, she left during it, but hey, that bitch is finally dead that's been torturing you, man. Hopefully things will get better for her now too. You know, I feel like a new chapter is about to begin in King's Landing and I feel like it may, it, it's... We're still gonna have war and shit and battles and fights, but I feel like it's gonna be a chapter of happiness or you know, not fucked upness like Joffrey. You know, it's not gonna be a bunch of fucked up shit like Joffrey at least, because he's been the king since what season one, like episode eight or seven. One of those episodes is where Robert died. So shit, man. I'm excited for it. Holy hell, I can't believe this fucking happened this episode. I can't fucking believe this happened this episode, man. Woo! Any final thoughts? Any predictions? So you, you you think it was the Tyrells? You think it was the Tyrells? You have any other mm -hmm. no other predictions? I think for sure. I think yeah. for sure. That's what I'm thinking too. It makes it like it not only does it make sense that it was them and everything, because I'm like it has to have been the pie. It can't have been the wine. He'd been drinking that wine the entire time, unless Tyrion really did Tyrion didn't poison him either there's no way because Tyrion was shocked as fuck the only thing like I said it has to be one of my three theories I'm willing to put money on it that it's one of those it was either Tyrell's which that's the one we believe the most the Sansa thing which is very far-fetched but I'm still throwing it out there do you think that's even possible no I I, I don't know I don't think I think there's like one percent chance but you know I figure maybe maybe and then the Prince Oberyn thing, that's that's pretty high up there too. I'd say that's like 30%, 69% for the uh, Tyrells and then like 1% for Sansa. But I don't know, man. You guys can laugh at the theories. I don't give a fuck. I'm throwing them out there. Let us know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, also if you guys did enjoy this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for reaction. It'll be up on Patreon as well as early access in the next two episodes. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. We hope you all have a wonderful day. And we'll see you in the next one. What is going on, everybody? I hope you did all just enjoy the reaction that you checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like on the video and comment down below a movie or TV series that you guys want to see me react to next. I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest supporters over on Patreon. Shout out to the homie Silas Kane, That's So Gordo, Supernova. And the homie Quentin, I appreciate you guys for supporting me over on Patreon, man, as well as everybody else. So if you guys want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You guys get access to early access videos, full length reactions, and a bunch of other stuff. Come join the Patreon family. Hopefully you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.